Hi everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome! Today we're going to be making this cutesy t-shirt. We're going to start at the neckline. Now if you want the neckline to be a little smaller, just use a smaller hook. If you want bigger, use a bigger hook. It'll be the same chain count. This um, top is very adjustable by changing your hook size. Okay, so it's made in one piece. Starting with the neckline, like I said, we'll be working in the round all the way until it's complete. Now there are no chains under the arm. Uh, some, some patterns have chains and that's where you start with your body. This is just worked straight down. There's no chains. All right, works in one piece. You work it in the round. Um, work from the top down. So let's get started. And please don't forget to subscribe, share this video if you like it, like the video if you like it, and let's do this. For this tutorial, I used the Loops and Threads Little Treasures yarn. This is a limited time only, so I don't know if they have any more. 200 grams in a ball, 557 yards. This color is called Sugar Plum. It's 100% acrylic. It's a lightweight three. Now for this tutorial, I used one ball and then this is the second ball I got into just a little bit. And the hook sizes I used were I started off with a five millimeter and then I changed to a six millimeter later on and I mentioned that in the video. And you'll see a second top that's the same and I used uh, the Premier Hipster yarn. This is also limited time only. It's actually pretty new. It just came out not long ago. There's 100 grams in here, 229 yards. This is 100% cotton and the size of this is, this is a light three as well and this colorway is, let's see if I can find it here. It is melon berry beautiful colors in here. It has a pop of orange, which I really like. And I used two balls of this, and then this is what's left of the third ball. I just got into it. I don't know, maybe I used half of it. And for that one, I used a six millimeter hook. Now the first thing you're going to do is make a chain of 84 and I'm starting off with the 5 millimeter hook. Then you want to lay it in front of you, make sure it's straight and then hook it together because we're going to be working in the round. Hook it together like that. And then in this very first stitch, we are going to, um, we're going to make a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch in that same spot. So we're going to chain four, which will count as a double crochet, chain one. Okay, let's do that. One, two, three, and then four. And then we're going to put a double crochet right into that same stitch and this will be our first v-stitch okay then we're going to chain two and then we're going to put another v-stitch in that very same spot so a double crochet chain one double crochet all in the same spot Alright, so that's what it looks like. Now we're going to change stitches up a little bit, but I want you to mark the center of this, these two V-stitches, the chain two spot in the middle, 
Just mark that with a stitch marker, okay? And then we're going to skip two. <clears throat> One, two, and then the next um, chain, we're going to put four double crochets. Just four simple double crochets. one spot, that one chain. Okay. Sorry. Bear with me. I just wanted to, I don't know why, but I just wanted to grab that top loop. <laughs> you can grab both two loops if you like. Four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to skip two chains again and go in the next one with four double crochets. Now we're gonna make these four double crochets six times um, along the chain, okay? So, skip two, make your four double crochets in the next chain. Skip two chains, make your four double crochets in the next one. So this is what it's going to look like. You have your two V-stitches at the beginning. One V-stitch separated by uh, chain two. Okay. And then you skip two, and then you make four double crochets in the next chain, skip two, four double crochets in the next chain, skip two, four double crochets in the next chain. Now you want to make a total of six of these, uh, I'll call them clusters of double crochet. So we have three so far. So we're gonna make three more. And I'll do that off camera and then I'll show you the next step. Now when you have your six double crochet clusters done, then you're going to skip two And you're going to go in the next stitch with a V stitch, chain two, V stitch. So let's do that. So V stitch again is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then chain two. And then do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so it's like that. So I'm going to put a stitch marker in these, right in the middle of these V-stitches like I did in the very beginning, but I'm going to use a different color. And the reason for that <clears throat> is I used a yellow, that's uh, that's where I started making the V-stitches. And then the next V-stitch, I'm putting green. The next V-stitch, I'll put green. And then um, there'll be another V-stitch area, and I'll put green. So this yellow just tells me where I started. Okay? 
So now that you have your V-stitches, you're going to skip two again. Go in the third one with four double crochets. Now we're going to make the six clusters of four double crochets like we did before. Okay, so three, four. Okay, skip two, go in the third one with four double crochets. Continue on with that, skipping two, going in the third one with those four double crochets. So I have two sets, I need to make four more. I'll be right back. I have my six groups of the four double crochets done. And now I'm going to skip two and I'm going to make the V stitches again. So that's a double crochet chain one, double crochet, that's your first V-stitch there, and then chain two, and then make your second V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so now I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna mark this one right in that chain two space, with a green um, stitch marker and now we're going to make six of those uh, groups of the four double crochets again. Oops, oh, almost lost my ball of yarn. Okay, so we will skip the first two chains go in the next one with four double crochets. And this is going to be um, a two row repeat. Okay, so this is our first row. Okay, so that's four double crochets. Skip two, make our four double crochets in the next chain. clusters of those uh, four double crochets. All right, skip two and so on like we did before. Okay, when I'm done with those, I will come back. All right, so I'm done my six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna skip two and then we're going to do um, the B stitches. One B, two B stitches separated by a chain two. All right, so double crochet, chain one, double crochet. That's for our first V stitch there. Chain two, and then make our second V stitch. And then mark it with I'm going to mark mine with green, and I'm marking these um, for another reason, especially in the beginning when you're working this stitch with these um, V stitches looks very similar to your four double crochets that are together. It almost looks like four double crochets. But there's a chain one in between those and then a chain two in the middle. So here's your four double crochets. So just so you don't get mixed up, like, because I, I got mixed up. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you know. Okay, so then we're going to skip two chains and then we're going to make our <clears throat> V 
groups of four double crochets again. We're going to make six groups or clusters, I called them in the beginning. Okay, so that's four right there. And then skip two chains, go in the next chain with four double crochets. me please okay just showing you I'm really human I'm not a machine <laughs> just kidding <laughs> sort of <laughs> okay so you do the four double crochets in there all right so we've done two clusters so far of the four double crochets and then we're going to do four more and then I'll show you what to do when we get to the end of this row. Okay, so at the end of your row one, you should have, um, should have two stitches left, but it looks like I only have one. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay because it's not gonna make a difference in this case. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to slip stitch into that first um, V stitch, slip stitch into the first double crochet of the V stitch, and then slip right, slip stitch right into the middle of that V stitch. Okay, that first V stitch, and then we're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet, chain one. And then we're going to put a double crochet right into that V-stitch. Okay, so that's our first V-stitch. And then we're going to go into this chain two space that we made between the V-stitches. And we're going to put a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch. Okay, so double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then chain two same spot put double crochet chain one <laughs> Minnie you're laying on my yarn my little kitty and then a double crochet so now you have um, one two three and then we're gonna make one more V stitch into this next V stitch so you're gonna have four V stitches all together here. So we'll just <laughs> my little mini. Sorry, sweetie, I bumped your nose. All right, so V. Oops, V stitch right in that V stitch. There you go, you have four V stitches. All right, now we're going to go over to the first four double crochets we did in the cluster. Or a set. You're gonna yarn over, you're going to do a front post double crochet around that first one. Now if you made the, the cutesy top in the cutesy sundress you'll know how to do this stitch if you didn't now is your time to learn <laughs> all right front post double crochet then you look at the two double crochets in the middle here pull them apart and then you're going to put three double crochet chain two three double crochet all in that spot okay so one double crochet two double crochet Three double crochet the chain of two and then three more double crochet okay and then 
then move that double crochet over and then this last double crochet in that group of four you're going to put a front post double crochet around that just like you did in the first one in that group set group cluster <laughs> sorry but it's all the same <laughs> all right so this is what it looks like front post double crochet three double crochets right between those two middle double crochets chain two three double crochets again in that spot and then a front post double crochet and the last double crochet so let's do that again okay front post double crochet this is your group of four front post double crochet around that first double crochet Now you have three left, these, these two here, go between them with three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And then you have that last double crochet in that group. Put a front post double crochet around that one. So that is what we're going to do around each of these, or in these each of these groups of four. All right, so when I finish those, I'll meet you at the stitch marker. Okay, so I have um, the six made almost. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, do not forget, and I'm only speaking from experience, just letting you know, do not forget this very last double crochet where you have to put a front post double crochet around that one. Okay. And now we're going to go into our V-stitches. We're going to put a V-stitch in the first V-stitch, like we did before. And then in that chain two space, we're going to put a V-stitch, chain two, and a V-stitch. And then we have one more V-stitch right here. We're going to put a V-stitch in there. Now when you've done your V-stitches, you can move your stitch marker up to this point, if you like. Um, and then we're going to go back into doing these double crochets, doing the front post, double crochet, and then spreading apart the two middle double crochets, and putting three double crochet chain two, just like we did before. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, one, two, three, <laughs> and then your front post double crochet around that last double crochet in that cluster. 
Okay, continue doing that. And don't forget you have some V-stitches to make at your next stitch marker. And then continue doing, taking care of these double crochet, these four double crochets here. And get some more V-stitches. And then this is where we're going to end row two, and I'll show you how to end it when we get there. Now we're at the end of row two. We're back to our V-stitches. So we're just going to go ahead and put a V-stitch in that V-stitch there. And then we're going to look to see where our other V-stitches are. We have one here, so we'll put a V-stitch in there. Okay, we have this other V-stitch here where we did the chain two in the middle. We're going to put a V-stitch, chain two, and a V-stitch in there. And this is what's going to help our top to grow. These are increases. Okay, a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch. Okay, and then our next V-stitch is here, so we'll put a V-stitch right in there. Okay, and then we have another V-stitch right here, so we're going to put a V-stitch in there. Okay, that's what it's looking like. And now we have this cluster here. This is where we did the three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. We're just going to go right into that chain two and we're going uh, to make um, four double crochets. Sorry about that. Four double crochets. So we're starting row one again and it's a two row repeat. So we repeat row one, and then we'll repeat row two. So this is a fast row, because we're just going to put four double crochets into each of those spaces. So that's four. Go into the next one with four double crochets. And then when you, you just continue doing that in all these spaces. And then when you get to your stitch marker, that's where your V-stitches are again. So you put V-stitches in each of your V-stitches. When you get to the top where the chain two is, you put a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch. Then you go to your next V-stitch, put a V-stitch, V-stitch in that one. And then go up here and put four double crochets in each of these space, spaces. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Now we're at the end of row three, which is um, a repeat of this first row we did, row one. Okay, now we're up to our V-stitches. So we're going to just go ahead and put V-stitches into the V-stitches. So 
one into each until you get to the top. One into each, and you stitch. Mm. And then we're at the top where that chain two is, so we'll put two V stitches in there like before. Put a V stitch. Chain two and another V stitch. And then we have one, two, three more V stitches to go into. So we make we stitch into each of those. Sorry, I don't know why I'm having a problem. <laughs> Just trying to find the best way to to look around my camera instead of through it. Because I have a hard time watching myself through the camera. So sorry about that. I was moving around a bit. So then you put your V-stitches into each of those V-stitches. And then when you get to these four double crochets, you just start again with your front loop double crochet, I mean front post, sorry, double crochet. Spread the other two double crochets apart, put Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and then do your your front post double crochet in that last one there. Continue on doing that <clears throat> and doing your your V stitches, so on and so forth. And that will be your your row two, row four. But it's your second row of the two row repeat. Okay, so let's take a look at what this is looking like. Now see, let me pull this camera back. Okay, this is looking like a square, right? Or, yeah, a square. So once you make a few more rows till you're about maybe halfway across your girls, <laughs> then I'll show you what to do from there. So once you've done several rows, this is what your piece is going to look like. Um, on the uh, fifth row, you can switch to a bigger hook if you like. I switched from the five to the six millimeter, just to make it a little more loosey lacy kind of thing. And now what you do from here is you can take a look at your piece and decide do you want this to be the front and this to be the back or this to be the front and this to be the back. You have a few choices here. So what that depends on is how you fold it. Now let's, let's fold this. Let's say I want... Uh, Decisions, decisions. All right, so you do that. You flip it over like that. Okay. Now let me tell you how many rows I did. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 
make sure you end on the second row of the two row repeat. So that was two, four, six, eight, ten. And fold it like that. So now this is your neckline. These go over your shoulder. These will be your, your sleeves. So you want to end on the second row of the row repeat because you want this pretty prettiness, the shelly thing for your sleeves. All right, now um, let's go to the mirror and I can show you what's next. All right, guys, so now I'm in front of the mirror and I have it on. I just pulled it over my head. All right, so see the sleeves? Depending on how many rows you make, your sleeves will get longer and also the body part will get longer because now what we want to do is we want to pull the part from the back to the front, I mean to underneath your arm and then we're going to decide is that how wide we want our top to be because uh, it will be the same width on the other side under the other arm that I can't move right now. <laughs> because I'm holding the camera. Do you want it to be tighter? If you do, take out a couple of rows. If you want it to be looser, add a couple more rows. But now I'm going to show you how we're going to make the rest of the top when you decide how wide you want your top, the rest of your top to be. This is how wide I want mine to be. It's going to be a little bit loose on me, and that's what I want. All right, I'll be right back. Now, if you fold it over your piece so that where you stopped crocheting uh, ends up at the bottom, then you can make this top, it's going to be all made in one piece. Otherwise, if you folded it so that this was like I did in the mirror there, <laughs> um, where it's up here, you have to um, st like cut off your yarn there and then start again at the bottom and or and go around and around so let me show you let me just show you if we do a continuous um, continuous crochet oh I'm sorry I have got this turned the wrong way <laughs> okay this is how we work this is how we work. All right. So uh, what you're going to do first is actually you're going to, you want to even up your corners. Okay. So right where your corner is, where you have those two V stitches, you know, put those together and put a stitch marker in there on both sides, of course. So those two big stitches there. Sorry, did you see that? Right in the middle of those two bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry, a <laughs> few stitches are, and um, oh, that chain two is in the middle of them. Just put a stitch marker through them there. Okay. Now. Okay. So now we're gonna. All right. This is where I stopped because that was the end of the that row. So now I'm going to put, I'm going to put a stitch marker back in here, um, just to let me know that's where I'm, I've ended my row, and I'm going to be starting a new row right here, the beginning of the new row. Okay, so of course we put, we go ahead and put our V stitches in all these V stitches, just like before. Okay, 
Just keep doing that and then I'll meet you at that yellow stitch marker right over here. Okay. Okay, we've worked our V-stitches into the V-stitches up until this stitch marker that was holding the pieces together. So what you want to do in there is you want to make, um, start to make a double crochet, go through, grab the loop, come up, and then pull through the first two loops. And then we're going to yarn over, go through the next, that next chain two space, grab your yarn, pull it up, go through the first two loops on your hook, and then go through the next three. So that is where we're going to go into when we come back around. We're going to treat it as a V-stitch. Okay, we're going to put our, when we come back around, we'll put our V-stitches in our V-stitches, and then we're going to put a V-stitch right through this. It's going to be all open here without the stitch marker there. I'll remove that. We don't actually need that anymore anyway. <laughs> so it'll be a space like that. And we're just going to go right under it and make a V-stitch around it. All right, so then we'll go on to our next V-stitch and make a V-stitch. next v-stitch and make a v-stitch. Okay, continue doing that. And just do what you did before for your stitches. When you're finished your v-stitch in here, go up here and make your four double crochets. Go up into this one, make your four double crochets, and just continue on like we did throughout the whole garment. Now when it comes to the arms later on, or the sleeves, we are going to, we are going to sew this up a little bit because you don't need that much of an open sleeve, or maybe you do, maybe you want that, it's up to you. I'm going to sew mine in a little bit and I'll show that later in the video. Okay, so just continue on and you just go around and around and around your piece until you have lengths you want and then when I get there I'll come back okay guys here we are when we come around to that that part where I showed you how to connect the front and the back together and I had said go right into this big space to make a V stitch actually what we want to do is go We're gonna go right into this space, right in here. Okay, and make a V-stitch in there. So that's double crochet, chain one, double crochet, right in that same spot. Okay, then we're gonna go on to our next V-stitch and make a V-stitch etc etc <laughs> like we did before um, yeah I just uh, when I came around to it I'm like oh no that's not right Let's see so this is how it's gonna look um, if you put it in here I don't know I don't think it's gonna look right it looks better like this I think what do you think all right, this is why it's really important to watch the entire video. <laughs> yes. All right, thank you. Okay, I'll be back when I have the length I desire for my top or maybe before. <laughs> All right, so once you get your top to the right width and length that you want, okay, this is the shoulder part, even up your these shell type things. 
and this is going to be in your underarm. Then you have this gap here, so you can you can sew it up to the part where you started working in the round. Just sew it to close it off there. Um, so mine, I measured, and it's around eight inches. This hole is eight inches. Um, but you'll have to measure it to see what you what you want require. Okay, and then I skipped one, two, three, four, and went into the fifth um, V-stitch. So I'm just going to sew them. And I like to go into the stitch that's closest to me, and then this one that's furthest from me. It just helps, so the seam on the other side, um, you can't really see it that well. I mean, it doesn't show so much. And make sure your garment isn't inside out. And then, yes, I tie knots. <laughs> and then I'll sew that end in after. Okay. So go into the next one that's closest to you. And the next stitch that's furthest away. Or you can just, um, you can single crochet, however you do your seams, whatever works, whatever works, works, right? Okay, this thing is getting in my way. Okay. So we're going to go all the way, all the way down until we get to the, get to where you know, where you did your, start doing the round here. Okay. Sometimes you have to turn it a little bit to see where you're at. All right, so I'm just gonna continue doing that. When I get to the bottom, I'll just make a knot and then I'll sew in the end. I'm at the end of this seam and I'm just gonna make a knot like that and then go back up into the seam like this just to sew the end in okay oops so sorry I bumped the camera this time it wasn't my face it was my arm <laughs> Take the stitch marker out. Gotta sew that piece in. And then when you turn it this way, this is how your seam looks. It's here, right down here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is around the neckline and all I'm gonna do is make um, make single crochets I gotta turn my shirt back right side out and I'll be right back okay I'm up to the neckline here um, I just made a slip stitch on my in my yarn and then um, start wherever wherever it doesn't matter um, right in here I'm just gonna put one right in there right where your cluster thingy is and uh, okay my hands are a little sticky I had to turn my fan off it was too loud so then just chain one and then go back into it with a single crochet And the next one, remember we had skipped two, so I'm gonna put two single crochets right around that. There's one, two, and then one right in here. Go to your next space here where you had skipped two chains, put two in there. And continue on with that all the way around. This is just to tidy it up and make it look complete. Okay, and one in the next one, and then two in the next one. No, 
all the way around. You can certainly use, you know, do a different border, whatever you like. I'm just doing a single crochet just to make it look neat. See, this is how it would look otherwise. And then this is how it looks with the single crochet. It just makes it neater looking. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm at the end of the neckline. And then just, oops, sorry about that. Just do a slip, <laughs> a slip, oh, come on. Slip stitch into that first single crochet you made, just like that. And then you can cut off your yarn and sew in that end. Oh my goodness, and we're done, almost. Um, I just have some more ends to sew in. And I used to despise having to sew the ends in because I usually wait till I'm finished the whole entire garment before I sew them in. But you know what? I used to find that kind of bothersome, but I still do it. But I've changed my attitude towards it. And it's making things easier for me because now I'm thinking, yay, I get to sew the ends in. So that means my item's finished. I just have to sew the ends in and I'm I'm done the whole garment and I'm happy. <laughs> so sometimes we just have to change our attitude for you know to improve our mental health. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there you go. You're done.